Give Fido a trim, help clean up the oil in the Gulf Coast. It's unbelievable. Even I was a little shocked to find out um, how hair can be so useful in um, soaking up the oil. Dog groomers nationwide and human hair cutters, too, are collecting hair and sending it to Louisiana, where volunteers are stuffing it into pantyhose to create makeshift oil absorbers called booms. We're finally getting on board and, and realizing that we can actually do something with, with hair. It took about a dozen dogs getting groomed to fill this bag, which will only make about a half a boom, so they need a lot more hair. We're very blessed for that. We have people with emu farms, APAC farms, you know, shaving these animals and sending it in and knowing that it's going to a good cause. But hair is not the only organic idea. Another is to dump hay into the water once to soak the oil up. It's going to be just like seaweed when you take conventional beach cleaning equipment and you just pick it up. Back in Louisiana, a local company is making boom made from a byproduct of sugar cane. So this isn't something that you would put up in open water because it doesn't, it doesn't float that well. But this is a great barrier that goes straight on to the, the, the beach line or on, on the wetland just to protect it from going more inshore. Cleanup crews aren't using the hair boom yet, but as they run low on traditional boom, Volunteers say they'll send their creations to the coast soon. If you think the oil spill is such a huge problem that you're not able to help, just think about this. You know, go get your dog's hair cut at your local grooming shop and hopefully the hair will make it down here to New Orleans. It could help make a big difference in the end. Haven Daily, the Associated Press, Mattery, Louisiana.